If you want to do a video where you're talking and you want to show something else on the screen, either in a smaller space or cover up the whole scene, I'm going to show you how to do it. And you can do this right in TikTok if you have the overlay function. But if you don't, you can do it in CapCut and it works the exact same way. So I'm going to demonstrate it in CapCut just so that everybody can learn. Now I'm going to record something and I'm going to picture where I want the things to appear on the screen. So I want to make sure I leave space. You might already know that I have free workshops and courses on my website, but did you know that I also do a podcast twice a week? And I have a newsletter that goes out twice a week where I share trend alerts, original content ideas, music suggestions, tutorials, and a whole lot more. Check it out. Just go here and you can find the links to everything. All right, let's edit. Open up CapCut and start a new project going to take the video that I just recorded, add it to the project. Now I'm going to scroll and get to the part where I first start speaking. Okay, I think it's right here. You could see that I'm about to speak. So I stop on the timeline, tap split, tap the beginning, get rid of it. Now I'll play it and see where I want the first thing to appear. You might already know that I have free workshops and courses on my website, but did you know that I also do a podcast? Okay, maybe right when I say podcast, I'll put my podcast thumbnail. So I stop on the timeline right where I want to add it. And I'm going to tap overlay, add overlay, and I'm going to go into my photos because this one is a photo that I'm going to add. So I'm tapping on the photo, click add, and then I can position this wherever I want it to go. So taking two fingers and sizing it up, you can make it smaller, whatever you want to do. So let's say I put that there. But I also do a podcast twice a week and I have... Okay, so let's just drag it right to that point. So you can make this shorter, longer by dragging the ends to wherever you want it to be. You can actually, if you put it in the wrong space, you can tap on it and you can slide it around podcast twice a week and I have a news okay so right here now is where I'm going to show my newsletter tap add overlay I'm going to go into my videos I did a screen recording of my newsletter like that so I'm going to add this little video screen recording to the project now the thing that I can do here that's nice is this is a video so it scrolls my newsletter while I'm talking so I can trim off a little bit of the beginning tap on it and slide. I want to get to it right when it starts to scroll. I'm going to tap on it and slide it earlier. So you can, you can put it on the same line like that. And now this is going to scroll like that. And what I can do is two things. I can either make it smaller by pinching it smaller and putting it here so that it scrolls through the newsletter. But because it's a newsletter, I want to make it bigger. So I'm going to tap on it and make it fill the screen. I make it as big as I can. So now when I get to this one, it's going to start scrolling through the newsletter and it's going to be on full screen while I'm talking. All right now I'm going to play it and see where I want it to go off. So here's what we've got so far. But did you know that I also do a podcast twice a week? And I have a newsletter that goes out twice a week where I share trend alerts, original content ideas, music suggestions, tutorials. So I'm going to tap on the timeline. And you can either shorten this by dragging it or you can split and delete. And now it goes back to my face. Tutorials and a whole lot more. Okay, now I'm going to tap it and cut because now I want to tighten this up. Let's see. Go here and you can find the link to everything. Just go here. Okay, now I'm going to take out that middle part and I'm going to just clean it up, split, and I'm going to take out this little middle section. Also, when I get to this part where I'm mentioning my website, I can go back and click text and just type my website web address in here so I have that on screen too. Okay, that's good. I will pick style and let's pick a nice one that you can see like that. I'll slide it down to the middle here, click the check mark and I want to keep this on right till the end. Oops, let's clean up the ending. And you can find the links to everything. All right, that's the ending. Tap split delete and I'll just shorten this text. Okay, so now I have a nice tight edit. I'm going to make it bigger and I'm going to show it to you. Here we go. You might already know that I have free workshops and courses on my website, but did you know that I also do a podcast twice a week? And I have a newsletter that goes out twice a week where I share trend alerts, original content ideas, 
music suggestions, tutorials, and a whole lot more. Just go here and you can find the links to everything. I know that was a lot, but if you learned something, go sign up for my newsletter. <laughs>